Good morning, everybody. If I can get in the video, you can see me. <laughs> I am here. This is Marcia from Oils and Wellness with Marcia, and I want to teach you how I clean my diffusers. I have two diffusers. This in here is my Desert Mist diffuser, and this in here is my uh, Dewdrop. Uh, Dewdrop, I believe, is what it's called. Diffuser, the, the first one that came out. So I'm going to clean these. The first thing you want to do is make sure they're unplugged. So this one has a plug-in on the bottom. I will unplug it. That way it's all disconnected from any type of electricity. Bear with me, you won't be able to see my face. Just watch the video and learn the different things on that I'm trying to talk about. I have me a, a nice young living cloth. I got for free a couple years ago from Young Living for doing whatever I did. I can't remember, but I get things for free. I'm going to wipe down the outside, clean it up a little bit. This is one of my favorite diffusers. It's like a night light. So when it runs out of the water and oils that you put in it, it still stays on if you have the lights on, which I like. That's why I like it in my bathroom, so I can have a night light. Take that off. Inside of that is pretty clean. I'm not going to wipe it out. Then there's another uh, cap. I'm just going to wipe that off a little bit. It, it shouldn't get too dirty because it's on the inside of this one. And then this here one, I'm just going to wipe the outside edge all the way around. This is the main base where you put your oils and your water. In the bottom is where you plug in the, the uh, electricity to it. I wish these are battery operated. Sure would be nice. The inside is a little bit dirty. I take a, a cotton ball or two with some rubbing alcohol and clean it out. There's what it looks like now. We'll get my rubbing alcohol here. These the uh, cotton balls are so little. <laughs> a little this is a big one but it's a little bit so we'll rub some alcohol I'll fill these up with alcohol and then rub the inside out get it clean get all the cracks and then some people say to clean your diffuser after each time you use it. Well, I use mine every day, and I don't like cleaning it every single day. So I clean it like once a week. Um, depends on you. If, if you get a diffuser, how often you clean it. Each person's different. How often you think it needs cleaned, or when it gets dirty. I do it weekly. Try to. I can't lie to you, sometimes I forget, but yeah, it does get clean. Yeah, doesn't that look a whole lot better? It's not that dirty, a little bit. Okay, now that this is clean, it's. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean my other diffuser and let that dry a little bit. My dewdrop. On here, I have Thieves Cleaner. You can't really see the thieves written on here, but there is thieves written on here. One of my friends from Young Living gave me a bottle of thieves cleaner for free. Peekaboo! <laughs> and uh, I still keep the bottle and remake my thieves uh, cleaner every time I run out. So this is a very, I love this gadget. But I made thieves cleaner and put it in my jar. And I have my jar right here. Put my thieves cleaner mixed with my water, a little lemon juice to get cut grease and gunky stuff, and put my rags in there, which is usually my purple cloth, and then just throw it in the laundry when I'm done cleaning, and it washes with the rest of the clothes. That way I can clean, and I always have a clean cloth when I put it back in. Okay, that's wiped down. It looks a whole lot better. <laughs> Inside, 
looks like that needs wiped down too, so wipe that down. And it also has an inside one. So wipe it down. And sit down here. Inside this diffuser, now you can see me a little bit better. Inside this diffuser is this dirty. So I'll get my cotton balls and my alcohol and rub it down. You don't really take that much time to um, clean your diffusers, which helps them to last longer. When you fill your diffuser with your water and your oil, I guess it recommends using distilled water. I don't have any distilled water right now. Some people boil their water to get rid of all whatever what is it chlorine or whatever might be in the water to get it all out but um i just use tap water or bottled water whichever one i have and i don't have any bottled water in here so i'll just use the sink when i fill these up i might have to use a little bit more cotton balls on this because it looks like it needs a little bit more rub in here Are you learning anything? These diffusers can be used um, all the time because um, they put out your scents that you want to smell to help your body, to help your emotions, to help you st uh, stress relief, whatever you, you need. You mix your oils, put it in there with your water. And then you're ready. This is not clean, but it's a lot cleaner. And you're ready for plugging them in and then let it fill the atmosphere for gatherings that you might have or just to help you relax throughout the day, give you a little energy, a little pep or whatever, all kinds of recipes. If you're interested in some recipes that you might want to mix together to make your favorite scent, Comment below what you might be interested in, and I'll see what I can do. Um, instead of those wax burners that people use to make the house smell good, or the candles, you can use oils and get the same scents, which is a whole lot better for you. Anyway, now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and put a little water in both my diffusers. In this one, there's a little red thing. You fill up the water to the top of this. That's your stop line. So, put a little water in there. Woo. There we go. And I have some pine and lemon that I'm going to be using in my diffusers. Here's my lemon. I'll put like four drops. Well, this is my small ones. I'll put two drops, three went in there. Two or three drops of that and then two or three drops of the pine. And pine smells like you're cleaning. So that's kind of a good thing. I use pine for smelling clean. Put your top back on and then put your other top on. Be careful not to tip it over or you'll lose all your oils. I like this diffuser because it says Young Living on it. And I like to line it up with the start button. So it's even. And you push this button when you're ready to start your diffuser. This will be plugged into another part of the house. I just cleaned it so I can bring it in there. This is ready. I plug it in and then push the button and, and it goes. Now this other diffuser. Fill it up. It has a line right here. Whoops, you can't see. A line right here. Goes all the way around. That's the fill line for this diffuser. I should have bought a bot. I should have brought a bottle of water in here to make it a little bit faster, but this will still work. And 
this hair diffuser here last me 10 hours i believe it's 10 hours um i set it there's three different settings you push one you push the first button once to let it just run normal where it goes straight through until it's done which i believe is about four hours mm, yeah and then if you push it twice it'll go i think six hours and then if you push it three times it lasts 10 hours, but it's on for a minute and off for a minute and on for a minute and off for a minute so that way it just uh, pulsates throughout the whole 10 hours and you're not using it all up at once. It lasts longer and I think it's more economical, so that's one I use. The second button is for the light. I'll show you that in just a second. Let me put the oils in here. Since this is a bigger diffuser and it lasts longer, I'm going to put five drops of each oil in there. Two, three, four, five. That was my pine. Now lemon. One, two, three, four, five. Put the top on. It has to be put on. You can't just put it on like that. It has to be put on until you hear it click. There we go. Did you hear that? The click. That way you know it's on and it will diffuse properly. Then you put your top on. That's on. Now it's time to plug it in. Put your plug in. I should have plugged it in before I put my water in there. <laughs> Let's see if I can see it. I believe it's right here. Um, ah, I'm spilling it. That's what I was afraid of. Let's see. Uh, I should have plugged this in before I filled it up with water, so bear with me. Here's the two buttons for turning it on and off. I'll lift this up so I can see. Here we go, right here. Did it go in? I'm trying to keep this balanced at the same time. That's not in. <sighs> Well, this is making my time go up on my views. I'm, I'm on my views on my video. I think it's in there. Let's see if it's on. The light will turn on. What did I see? Look here, there. Nope, it ain't on yet. So let's see here. Huh, it's in now. That was fast. Okay, let me wipe this spill up that I made on the counter here. Okay. The two buttons, like I said, here. Push the first one. Is it not turning on? Well, wow. what did I do wrong? Let's see here. Hmm. I don't understand. I know I didn't do it wrong. It's plugged in. Wow. I don't understand. Well, I've already had 14 minutes on this video and I don't want to make it too long. Let me see if I can't figure out why this isn't working. These have to be put together all the way or it won't work. And I've never had problems with this before. Turn 
this way. Oops. I don't understand. Well, I will fiddle around with this and hope I can get it to work. But that is how you clean a diffuser. And if I can get it to work, you can see it working on Facebook. I'll make a small video and post it on Facebook so you can see that I have um, it working. Since I'm making this too long, I don't want you to sit there and stare at the video trying to, when is she going to get it turned on? So check me out on on Oils and Wellness with Marcia on Facebook, and you can see it running. Uh, I apologize for whatever happened. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, suggestions, questions, anything, please uh, comment. Leave those in the comments below. Smash the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And the best way you can help me after you subscribe is to share this on your Facebook page or Instagram or whatever uh, social media you might have so that people can see my flub ups and my experiences with the oils and help them learn at the same time. So have a wonderful day and check me out on Facebook to see if this diffuser still works. Ta-ta for now.